Welcome to the University of Arizona's Old Main, home of the Pre-Health Professions Advising Center, a resource for students interested in becoming dentists, physical therapists, physicians, and many other types of healthcare professionals. If you're new to our university, you may not know how the school can help prepare you for your health career. Let's go talk to one of the advisors in the Pre-Health Advising Center. Students do not need to major in a science discipline for pre-health professions. We encourage students to major in something they love, that may be the sciences, could be a humanities like foreign language, even something like dance. The important thing is that they're really successful in whatever major they do choose. For some students, if they want to pursue a minor, since many non-science majors require students complete a minor, we can help them choose a science-based minor, or and we also offer the pre-health thematic minor, which captures the science courses they need for health profession programs. My advice for new freshmen is that they come to school prepared to focus on academics. We recommend freshmen meet with a pre-health advisor first thing in the fall semester. We want to use this time to help them plan their application and strategize to help them be the most competitive applicant possible for health profession programs. So we all know with every new adventure comes great opportunity and also new responsibility. We're here with Alex. Can you tell us a little bit more about the requirements of a health profession student? Now, whether you're looking at medical school, dental school, pharmacy school, other professional programs, all of these programs conduct background checks on you before you're admitted into their program. These checks are looking for things like criminal activity, underage drinking, minor possession, things like that. But they're also looking for academic violations, code of conduct violations like cheating or plagiarism can all make a major impact on whether you're accepted or not. You want to be very careful with Facebook and Twitter because those are places that not only professional programs but also employers look at when you're finished with school. You want to be safe with what you're doing and what you're saying. You don't want to put anything that's going to harm your chances. You want to be smart about what you're using these uh, social tools for. My biggest advice is to just really be smart. You're here at U of A to learn first, to learn and to grow. You want to have a balance between personal life and academics, but you want to be able to take advantage of the opportunities that you have at U of A. You do that, you're going to do well and you're going to succeed. So, if you're really interested in the health industry, then this is the right move for you. that I found the pre-health advisors when I was a freshman because they've really helped me organize my classes from semester to semester um, to where it's not overwhelming and waiting till the last minute to think about med school. It can be really difficult to sort through information on the internet about med school because there's just such an overwhelming amount that you can just get stressed out just looking at it. So when you go to the pre-health advisors, they have the most updated information and they can kind of more tweak it for your needs. With the support of the pre-health advisors, I have made my own major. It's called Interdisciplinary Studies, and I will be studying pre-health, business, and Spanish. Um, I've never been one that's interested in a traditional science major, so this way is a little bit more tailored to me and what I want to accomplish out of college, and it'll make me a more unique applicant for med school. There are a lot of differences with applying to college and applying to med school. With college, it's basically based on your GPA and your SAT or ACT scores. With med school, they take a lot of other things into account. Your volunteer hours, your clinical hours, and some schools are really big on research, so if you volunteer in a lab or not. And the pre-health advisors are there to help you with all of it. Now that you know a little more about pre-health advising, I bet you're excited to see what your next steps are. Let's go talk to the advisors again. To help students decide on a health career, we offer classes on exploring health professions and we also have internships to help students gain clinical experiences. To receive the benefits from pre-health professions advising, students register for our services through an online workshop, which they have access to shortly before the fall semester begins. In your first semester, remember to visit the Pre-Health Professions Advising Center, located in Old Main. You'll be sure to get all the help you need. You can also find more information on their website. <laughs>